today on Jack's mini zoo we will be redoing my Asian forest scorpion venoms enclosure. We'll be making it bioactive. Okay, so we'll be first, firstly we'll be adding the plants. This is a type of fern. This is always good because this, this will create a good humidity for the forest, Asian forest scorpion because where they come from they need a lot of humidity. We'll just put that right at the back. And we'll also be adding this heart leaf fern as well. Just because also with the humidity and this one looks really nice as well. Okay, so there we go. Oh, as you can see, I've already done the substrate. This is a mixture of eco-earth and planting soil with some sphagnum moss. The sphagnum moss is there because the humidity, it catches lots of humidity. And if you can just see, there is a bottom layer of rocks. This is for the drainage layer. So when I water the plants, there is a drainage layer for the water to go if it becomes too, too much. All right, so next we'll be adding the hide. I've chosen to use a plant pot as the hide because it, well, what I, what I like to do is move lots of the soil, put it there and put some soil in and up and above. So it's like, a, so I make it almost like a little cave for this scorpion. So there we go. There's the cave. Okay. Next we'll be adding the water bowl. That will always be full of water just in case the uh, my scorpion wants to um, have a drink, obviously. We'll also be adding this kind of bark, cocoa bark thing, just for some added um, look to it. Okay, so I'll fill this water bowl up in a minute, but I think I'll just get all of this rubbish out of the way. I think we'll be adding the scorpion next. So I have just filled up his water bowl and watered the plants and also I have just added some springtails. Springtails are little tiny bugs who act like the cleanup crew um, within the enclosure. So now I'll be adding my scorpion venom. So I can free handle my scorpion because I've had him for quite a while and know how to properly do it. But if you've only just got your scorpion I wouldn't suggest free handling him. So what I do is I grab him by the tail, like that, so his stinger cannot sting me. But because he's an Asian forest scorpion, he is unlikely to sting me, but to pinch me with these huge pincers at the front. His, I've, as I've said, his name's Venom, and I'll be introducing him to him his into his enclosure. Here he is. He's He's uh, quite big now, I've had him for about a year, actually it's pretty much exactly a year now. Always, whenever you're handling your scorpion, always be very careful. So I'm just going to pick him up and put him in his enclosure now. There you go bud. Go on. Okay, so now I'll be adding the sliding glass doors. Now, because these glass doors do not have a um, a twisty lock, I use a well. I've I bought myself a lock for these doors because, well, he is a, my venomous animal, and my sister is very scared of him. So there we go. So now that's all on. And lock it. So over by his enclosure I have a heat mat which is attached to the wall and this slides against the wall. Because they they are from Asia, from tropical, they need a heat mat just around here just to keep everything warm. But I only have it on one side because this side the plants don't really like the heat and uh, this is uh, his cold side and this is his warm side. So if you'd like to see some more videos of me cleaning out my animals or free handling this this dangerous creature, uh, like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.